Brace yourselves because this video is going to be like pure 90s nostalgia. Hi guys, it's Magali and if it's your first time on my channel then welcome. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. I make regular videos on beauty, fashion and lifestyle so if you enjoy that type of content, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button below this video and subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a video. Today's video is a little different than the type of content I usually post. Although I did do like a cute little Lego unboxing video a few years ago. I'm gonna link it there. If you guys like Lego, you might sort of enjoy it or whatever. But we were decluttering and cleaning the other day at home and I came across these things, which are my Tazo albums from the 90s. These two albums were pretty much some of my most prized possessions when I was a child. If you guys don't know what Tazos are, so they are these little plastic collectible discs. I suppose it is similar to like Pokemon cards and stuff and in the 90s you could get them in lace chips in India and Tazos were a thing in many countries around the world I think. The album at the back says Thins, Ruffles, Cheetos and Doritos. We didn't really have any of these brands in India in the 90s. Now we have Doritos but in lace packets you could get these and then I guess later on you could also get them in Cheetos packets but I used to usually get Lay's and there were just like hundreds of Tazo designs I guess that you could collect and I got really into collecting them. My mom also got into it so she used to support me. It was the most disappointing feeling in the world when you opened a packet of Lay's and uh, there were no Tazos inside because that used to happen occasionally and you felt on top of the world if you opened a packet of Lay's. And there were two Tazos because that also used to happen once in a while and of course as you collect these things you would get them blind so you know there would be duplicates also and when I had duplicates I would play with them but when I got an original one for the first time I would put it in one of these albums and so my collection has survived quite well over the years and this also made me feel very grown up as a child because my dad was always really into stamp collecting and he had hundreds of stamps from countries around the world. My mom got really into coin collecting and she had many many different coins and they had albums for their hobbies. So uh, then when I could get these albums for my Tazos, it felt like my own little collection. And I was that annoying little kid that when like relatives came over and they were sitting and talking in the living room, I would just bring out my Tazo albums and I'd just force them to look at it because that's how proud I was of the collection. So I do have two albums as you guys can see. This is just the official Tazo collector's album and it has like a Cheetos guy all around it. And I also got this album which is like very Star Wars themed. It's a Star Wars trilogy special edition if you look at the back also. Uh, they have the original trilogy movies, there's Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. So I thought it would be fun to just uh, flip through these and uh, go over some of the tassels I have. I know it's a little bit random. Let's just flip the camera and look at the albums. So these are the two albums that I have that we're going to be looking through today. This is what a standard Tazo would look like. I just have three here. I didn't really play with these because I only played with duplicates so they're in pretty good condition. There will be some variation in the shape. They did have some shapes that were fully round and there are some uh, weird polygonal shapes but most of the time they would look like this with one bigger notch and then a lot of smaller notches. I think the bigger notch you were supposed to be able to launch them or something like I don't really remember but the smaller notches were to interconnect the tazos and then you could kind of build something creative. In the front you would have uh, the graphic whatever it was and at the back there would be some writing, I would mention the name and there would usually be a number so you can see that most of the writing in here I'm not sure what language this is it does look like Japanese but the Tazo is made in USA these Tazos were pretty big all around the world at one time so we're gonna look through the Star Wars album first never been really big on Star Wars but I think this was made for the Australian market because that's what it says at the bottom and we didn't really have any of these brands in India but whatever if you guys are curious about how 
I got these albums. Basically, they weren't easy to find, but my mom really took a lot of trouble to get these for me. Like whenever I wanted something back in the day, like a special Barbie or an exclusive Lego set or something, you had to do the legwork back then. There was no e-commerce or something. You actually had to go to stores and ask them to order it for you and all of that. So. Uh, for these albums she had to uh, give some lace backings and then she also had to give some money and place an order in a particular store and then you know you would get them and also the sheets on the inside like some sheets came with the album and the rest you had to do the same thing and request new sheets because there were very few sheets in a new album now i'm directly going to go to the last pages we're going to start with this because this is the first series of Tazos I ever collected from. This is always going to be having a special place in my heart. And this here, this is the first Tazo I ever got around the early 90s. This is what started it all. I have 10 out of the full set of 20 Tazos. So this particular series has got all of the different Looney Tunes characters dressed up as famous figures throughout history. So there's Alfred Nobel, Alexander Graham Bell, Thomas Edison, Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton, Yuri Gagarin, like really famous ones. And of course there are some problematic ones also, like we have Christopher Columbus and there's also Pablo Neruda. These were like uh, my first introductions to many of these historical figures. And once I actually got the backing, it became more interesting because there are little mini biographies of each figure at the back and they have birth year and death year. So I did really learn a little bit with this particular series. There's a little bit of like Taz, Tasmanian Devil, we have Sylvester here, Wiley E. Coyote, there's Roadrunner, more Tasmanian Devil, Foghorn, Leghorn, a lot of Bugs Bunny of course. I think uh, Tazos had a lot of different collaborations with Looney Tunes so you will see a lot of Looney Tunes in all of these. And now I'm going to start uh, from the beginning of the album like the Star Wars sheets. You kind of have a little bit about the characters here. I've actually never watched a single Star Wars movie. I know about them from pop culture but I think I should fix that like one of these days. Now the weird thing about these Star Wars sheets are like we got the album and the sheets but the Star Wars Tazos were so hard to find and I'm not sure if I even got a single one or I think I just got one of them and I have a few more in the further pages those I got by exchanging Tazos with my cousins. So on this whole page I just have one Tazo it's this one Imperial the Interceptor exploding from the Empire Strikes Back and this is a cool Tazo it doesn't have any of the notches and it also has like a 3D image so you can see the Interceptor intact and then exploding for almost all of these other pages I've just put a random Tazos in these slots because as I mentioned, I could never find the Star Wars ones. Now over here also, I just have a one original one from this series. It is captured by Imperial Stormtroopers from the Empire Strikes Back. And this is also differently shaped. It does have the notches though. And it has a really cool back. The rest of the tazos on this page are just some scenes from Batman the Animated Series. There are two rows. If you look at this, this isn't actually a real tazo, but tazos were so popular in the 90s that a lot of different brands started copying and making really similar ones. Uh, this is from Zuma, which was a bubblegum. And I didn't even realize that I had some non-original tazos here, but there are a very few that I kept in the albums. So you can see uh, these two animal ones are from Zuma and they look quite stupid next to all of the real Tazos. I have some random Looney Tunes ones, like different different scenes. I know they don't match the back but these sheets were empty and I didn't have the corresponding backings. Here I have another full page of like Star Wars Tazo backings and not a single Star Wars. So these two lines and this single one here, these are all like Cheetos themed Tazos and I actually forgot what this tiger's name was but I think his name was Chester Cheeto if I'm not mistaken so these these don't look that great but they are fine and then I have three Power Rangers ones towards the bottom I was never really into Power Rangers so 
I don't know anything about this, but I just have them. Okay, the Power Rangers ones aren't Tazos, they are more copies, but these are from Peppy and Picnic and they're called Spinos and they were just 30 because it says collect all 30. I did mention there were a lot of copies back in the day. Another Star Wars backing sheet and here I have four actual Tazos that correspond to the backing sheet and the rest of them are those Power Rangers Spinos thingies. Now the sad part of this Star Wars sheet is that this particular series had this like metallic silvery finish and even though they were kept in the album like you can kind of see the image it's kind of holographic but largely they've peeled and the effect is kind of lost I can't even really see them properly but yeah those were like the only Tazos that have kind of got spoiled because the rest of them since they're in the album they have lasted pretty well and they look almost new this backing sheet is Looney Tunes Tazos and they're quite cute but I only have one that corresponds to the backing sheet and the rest are just more of those Power Rangers Spinos thingies. And here's a duplicate backing sheet exactly the same as the previous one but I put some different Tazos in here. So the first two rows are some Looney Tunes Tazos as you can see and I think these were kind of made for the Japanese market because there is Japanese writing on them and then the next three rows are all Pokemon Tazos. I wasn't really into Pokemon that much in the 90s but I did get into it in the 2000s when I was like in early high school and stuff. Another Looney Tunes sheet and in the top here I have uh, two more Pokemon Tazos and the rest of these actually match the backing. There's Elmer Fudd. Pidi Gonzalez, Foghorn Leghorn, Tasmanian Devil, Marvin the Martian, Riley Coyote, Sylvester, and oh, this doesn't match. Who's who's this? I don't, I don't remember this guy's name, but yeah, I never even watched Looney Tunes that much, but I think I knew all of their names just because of uh, these tazos. You have a Simpsons backing sheet, and this one's completely empty because I never got a single Simpsons tazo. I don't even know if they were in India. But uh, this particular one of Bart like mooning people used to always make me giggle as a child. Another Simpsons backing sheet but as I mentioned no Simpsons Tazos. So all of these Tazos that you see here are 3D Tazos from the movie Space Jam. Does anyone remember Space Jam? I watched it. I don't think it was any good. But these all have little scenes from the movie. And this one is the weirdest because it kind of looks like Bugs Bunny has like really big boobs or something. I'm not sure what's happening here. And that is it for the first album. Now we're going to move to the second one. Here is a Looney Tunes backing sheet of all different characters and different scenes. And I do have five of these that match so that's really nice i have peppy lipu tasmanian devil elma fudd mark anthony and wiley e coyote peppy lipu was just such a giant creep do you guys remember him ew i hope they don't show the kids these cartoons anymore i almost missed this but the inside of this album has a little instructional on how you could play with tazos i never really did this but you could stack them and then uh, whack them and win. I don't think anyone I knew was that into Tazos so I'm not sure if this game caught on. Apparently both of the albums I got were made for the Australian market also because as you can see this has an Australian address on it. Another different uh, Looney Tune backing sheet out of which I have two. There's one Foghorn Leghorn and one Tasmanian Devil. He seems to be lifting weights of some sort. Another Looney Tunes backing sheet and out of the 20, I actually have, I think, about 8, which is not bad. There's Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Marvin the Martian, Sylvester, Sylvester Jr., uh, Henry Hawk. I don't know who Henry Hawk is. Mark Anthony, I forgot the dog's name. And there's just like a Looney Tunes title or whatever. This Tazo looks like it was really messed up. Maybe I exchanged it from somebody or something. 
This is a Cheetos backing sheet. I don't think I have any of these, so I just put in uh, some mixed dazzles that I didn't have backing sheets for. Who are these people? I don't know who these people are. I feel like I watched this cartoon back in the day on Cartoon Network, but I don't remember any of these characters. It just says 1996 Warner Brothers, Montana Max. I'm gonna have to Google that. If you look at these first two rows, what's interesting are they are all kind of the same image. Like this is the same as this, this is the same as this, this is the same as this. But these are like one dimensional and these are two dimensional. So here I have three different versions of what is essentially the same Dazzo. So I have it one dimensional. Here it is two dimensional but it's a circular Dazzo. It does not have any slots or notches and then here it's two-dimensional but it does have the tazo slots and notches same case here with these kind of being matching and these are kind of more tazos of the same series they don't match the backing sheet which is cheetos so more of these little characters um this is a duplicate backing sheet i do have some of these designs they were in the other album but here again we're continuing the same series of these characters from this Warner Brother cartoon from the 90s that I don't really remember that much. Another Simpsons backing sheet and here I have one Disney Tazo. I didn't really know that Disney did Tazos but this has Pocahontas. I don't remember who this is from the movie. Maybe I should rewatch it but these two rows or uh, three rows over here have uh, scenes from the mask cartoon that I used to watch in the 90s and um, now that I'm seeing the imagery I'm realizing it was just a really weird cartoon and that's it that is the last sheet here at the end of the album I just have some random magazine uh, put in here I don't really know why so we actually had these protection things put on all of the sheets this I don't remember what they're called but these little plastic things because I thumbed through the album so many times over the years and uh, things don't really last that well here in India at least in Mumbai where I live because of the incredibly humid weather but I'm actually surprised at how nicely these have held up the cardboard was really good quality and uh, it's still in a really nice state only this little metal bits have rusted but that's kind of expected and it's no big deal So yeah, those were pretty much all of the Tazos that I currently have in my Tazo albums. Not a super big collection and a lot of the sheets are still pretty incomplete and I guess they'll never be completed. But I'm just still really happy with what I have. It was a nice cherished childhood memory and recently I've been decluttering more and trying to go towards a more minimal lifestyle and just get rid of everything that, you know, I'm not using and pass on a lot of my toys to uh, kids who will use them now but this is definitely Definitely one of few things that uh, I'm so happy I have these albums and I am definitely not going to be getting rid of them I'll be keeping them safe and close to me I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments did you ever have Tazos what was your attitude towards them and do you still have them does anyone still have them if I didn't have these albums I'm pretty sure I would not have had the Tazos because I had a lot of duplicates I don't know where they are the album one stayed safe thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time bye <laughs>